Pero ani ikaw daw magtuturo sabi ni sir. Sir. Oh, wala. Okay, so good afternoon, class. Sorry, medyo natagalan kasi tumawag si Engineer Rapita. Kailangan daw ng check faculty next academy. So, unfortunately, mag-field na ata ako. Okay, so I might, uh, pero baka, baka lang, I'm not still sure, depende sa sa ina-applyan ko kung kailan ako mag-start. So, I'm not sure kung ako pa rin yung separation process niya sa summer or hindi na. And then yung calculus, uh, calculus and separation process sa summer. Okay? So, by the way, uh, this will be our last topic. I believe your exam would be on June 8 to June 10. Tama ba? So, don't worry. Ay, hindi ko pa na bibigay yung grades niya, no? Sa prelim. Don't worry, matataas naman. So, nag-adjust na lang ako sa exams. Uh, I think lowest is 85. So, that's okay. Bibigay ko na lang, mama. Okay, so, this will be our last topic. will be your drying. So, Basically, drying, natakal nyo na to sa check like overall material balance. Ganun. So, uh, wait lang ba? So, drying involves the removal of moisture, right? 
usually water from a solid by allowing the composite material to come into contract into in, into contract with a dry medium that supplies the heat needed by the moisture to evaporate which is right uh, we use drying in removing moisture so that is the uh, main uh, function or main job of your drying class like for example in our washing machine di ba may uh, drying na rin tayo dyan so nagre-reduce nagre siya ng moisture content though uh, may drying na hindi 100% na the dry na talaga so sometimes uh, we still need to hang it in our houses okay hang it in our backyards under the sun para 100% yung uh, matanggal yung moisture or yung remove yung water niya para magiging dry siya okay so so i have here so in computing your drying so in here we have your uh drying rate class this is your rate and this is your const uh moisture content i should say So if you remember with Ma'am Jane, I don't know if you tackled this one. So meron tayong figure na ganito, right? Class. So may ganyan. So drying rate, this is in hours. And then moisture should be in dry basis class. Okay. So in here, yung point data class is your uh, initial moisture content, right? So ito yung initial moisture con content natin. So X1. So this is our X1 class. This is your initial moisture content. And then in here class, kung data part, before siya mag uh, down or mag fall, this is your critical moisture. Right? So this is your XC. So that is your critical moisture. And in here, class, this is your final moisture content class. That is your X2. Final. Okay. So, if you remember it, class, ang tawag natin dito, class, before uh, this uh, line here, before she mag fall, uh, this is your constant rate period class or your CRP. So I do hope na naalala nyo pa siya, constant rate period class, right? And this one is your falling rate period class. Ito. Ito naman yung falling rate period natin class. And di ba as time goes by, pag nagda-dry tayo, um... Habang tumatagal yung oras, yun yung rate ng dry natin is bumababa rin, right? Kasi uh, um, yung, uh, tinatanggal lang naman natin yung moisture content niya. So, yeah. So, this uh, to get your your dry uh, time, time in your constant rate period, your CRP, so drying rate, so this is our uh, drying time class. You know, theta is drying. Theta is drying time. Okay. So this is uh, to get your delta uh, constant rate period. Yung time ng pag-dry na class is just your uh, Q over ARC. This is our proportional constant class, okay? So mostly, ito kasi yung kinukuha natin para gagamitin sa next case natin class. So we'll, give, uh, we'll, we'll be having more exa uh, examples mamaya. So this is our proportionally constant. So your Q over your ARC or sometimes kasi your Q is your vol volumetric flow rate, uh, A is your area, and this is RC is your rate constant, okay? But... Um, in this case, we uh, we use this Q over ARC as your dra uh, proportional constant. So times it's just times your XI uh, X1 minus XC plus. Okay, 
So, yan lang yung formula for constant rate period. And for your falling rate period class, it's also Q over ARC or your proportional constant times your uh, XC LN, LN XC over X2. Okay? So, that is our um, formula in getting your Falling, falling rate period. Kasi nagpo-fall na siya class. So, if you remember your formulas pag uh, fall, uh, minsan kasi curve din yung nangyayari dito. Nagka-curve din siya. So, that's why we will have your XC, LN, X, XC over X, X2. So, in getting your uh, total rate, uh, total drying time, so, delta T, We'll just going to add your constant rate period and then your falling rate period. So Q over ARC, and then you have X1 minus XC plus XC LN XC over X2. So this is our formula now in getting your total drying time. Okay, so you have your constant rate period and then your um, moisture uh, uh, falling rate period. And you take note class, uh, uh, yung moisture content natin is, should be in dry basis class. Okay, it should be in dry basis. In your checkout, uh, pag nag over, over mass, uh, overall material balance kayo, we use um, wet basis class, okay, in dry, sa so my drying. But in here class, pag mga ganitong uh, constant rate period, falling rate period, moisture content should be in, uh, should be in dry basis class. And you take note class, na kapag may uh, equilibrium constant, pag may given a term na ex equilibrium constant class, Ima minus lang natin siya sa may uh, each moisture content to get the final uh, final yung talagang uh, moisture na dry basis. So to us to understand more, let's have an example. Class, okay, so a wet solid is dried in a batch dryer under constant drying conditions from 25% dry basis to 10% dry basis in 4.17 hours. The critical moisture content is 15% dry basis and its equilibrium moisture content is 5%. So ito yung sinasabi ko, class. Kapag may nakita kay equilibrium moisture content, so we're going to, to minus all uh, moisture content by 5%. So pati ito, class, minus natin. How long will it take? to dry the solid from 30% dry basis to 8% dry basis under the same drying conditions. So, itong 5% dito class, ima-minus natin sa 25%, 10%, 30%, and your 8% class. Pero naman, pag may nakita ka man kayong free moisture content, so, we don't need to minus it. Mamaya, we have, we have that example also. So, let's try to solve. So, this is your first case and then your second case class. So wet solid from 25% to 10% class. So you have here your 25%, your 0 0.25, and then your 0 0.1 as your uh, final moisture content. But take note and uh, take note class now you have an XC of 0 0.15. So this is your XC, your critical, before she mag fall. So this is 0 0.15 class. Okay? So this is your drying rate or and then this is your moisture content class. Okay? So in getting your your and dito, dito naman pa, hindi pala tapos yung problem. So how long will it take to dry the solid from 30% to 8% class? So you have here 30% or 0 0.3. And then, of course, your critical uh, moisture content, which is 0 0.15. And then your final uh, moisture content, which is 0 0.08 plus. So this is our case one. 
and case 2. And take note plus the given yung total uh, drying time from 25% to 10%, which is 4.17 hours. Dito lang yun. So, hanapin natin is 0 0.3 to 0 0.08 tas. Okay? So, my x1 here in case 1. So, my x1 here is equal to 0 0.25. My x, uh, xc here is 0 0.15. And my x2 uh, here is 0 0.1. And you take note class na may nakalagay tayong equilibrium moisture content. So, we're going to minus all of this by 0 0.05 tas. So this is 0 0.2, this is 0 0.1, and 0 0.05. And in getting your, since um, given si total, uh, uh, total drying rate, na, total drying time natin, so magkukuha natin si proportional constant tas. So, diba? We have a we have a formula of delta T is equal to Q over ARC times your X2 minus XC plus XC. X1, X1 XC ln XC over X2. Right? So delta, uh, we have here 4.17. And then your Q over ARC. And then you have X1, which is 0 0.2 plus minus XC that is, is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 LN 0 0.1 over X2 0 0.05. So using your calculator class, you now you can now get your Q over ARC. So I got here. Please try to recheck now yung mga nakukuha kong values. So I got here at 24.63 class. So I have here 24.63. And para makuha natin si... si Yung hinahanap na 30% to 8% plus, gagamitin naman natin si proportional constant natin to get your total drying time. So, total drying time now is equal to Q over R, which is 24.63 times. But take note plus na at case 2, you have now X1 is equal to 0 0.3 minus 0 0.05. X2 is uh, X2 is now 0 0.08 minus 0 0.05. So you have here 0 0.25 and 0 0.03. And then retain your XC, which is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.15 minus 0 0.05. So you have now X X1, which is 0 0.25 minus your XC now is still 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 ln 0 0.1 over 0 0.03, your x2 plus, okay? So what is, uh, what is your answer here? I got here, okay, 6.66. This is 6.66 hours. We get the same answer. Okay. So that is now your answer class. So your your total drying time in your 30% uh, dry basis to 8% dry basis is 6.66 hours class. Okay. Okay. So I will just send this PowerPoint to you na lang, no? Para maaga tayo mag mag matapos. Next problem. So wet solid is dried in a batch dryer under constant drying conditions from 35% to 10% in 7 hours. The critical moisture content is 20% and the equilibrium moisture content is 4%. So meaning my equilibrium con moisture content na naman tayo, so we're going to uh, subtract 4% in our X1 and X2 later on. 
So how long should it take to dry the same solid from 10% to 5% moisture under the same drying conditions? So ganun lang ulit plus, but take note plus in your case one, it's only 35% to 10%. But in your case two class, you have 10% to 5% lang. So if we try to graph that, so let's try to graph it. Okay, so you have here, you have here, this is case one. So you have here 0 0.35 and then you have here 0 0.1 class. And then your equilibrium constant is 0 0.2 class, okay? And in here class, in case two, you have In your case to class, you have 0 0.5 to 10% class. So if this is your case 1, so meaning dito hanggang dito, right? Etong part. So zero, this is your 0 0.1 and then this is your 0 0.05 class. This is your 0 0.2 and then this is your 0 0.35. Okay, so... Uh, medyo tricky lang dito class kasi yung hahanapin nating moisture content ay yung drying time natin is uh, beyond your um, case 1. So wala siya sa, sa grupo ni case 1 class. Wala siya dito, right? Sa may, wala, sa may dito. So, uh, pamaya babalikan natin. So we're going, we're, 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 we're going to solve this first. So, in here, you have a total uh, drying time of 7 hours. Okay? So, we're going to use um, Q now. Q over ARC. Uh, okay. Sorry. So, we get over there have an extra kilogram of 4%. Para hindi natin makalimutan i, e, i-subtract. E so, x1 now is equal to 0 0.35 minus 0 0.04 is equal to 0 0.31. Your xc now is 0 0.2 minus 0 0.04 is equal to 0 0.16. And your x2 now, 0 0.1 minus 0 0.04 is 0 0.06. So, dito na lang din. i as na rin na rin. X1 is equal to 0 0.1 minus 0 0.04 is 0 0.06. And X2 now is 0 0.05 minus 0 0.04 is 0 0.01. Okay. So, we're going to solve your Q, uh, proportional constant your Q over ERC. So, have we have now uh, 7 R's is equal to Q over ARC times X1 0 0.31 minus 0 0.16 plus 0 0.16 LN 0 0.16 over 0 0.06. So, please try to recheck na lang yung na solve ko. So I got here 22.81 class. Okay? So in here class, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin bigla si Q, uh, Q over ARC here class. Kasi nga, um, beyond yung case 1 natin. So hindi siya covered. Right? So, hindi siya within your case 1 class. So, what do we have to do now class is uh, kailangan natin ng bagong formula here. So, what is that formula class? So, if we try to consider this whole class, itong whole, so 0 0.05 to 0 0.35, right? So, we have now, so uh, drying time ni 0 0.35. 
at 35 to 0.05. is equal to your, di ba? Yung complete dito class is equal to your drying time drying time of your 0 0.35 to 0 0.1 and drying time of your 0 0.1 to 0 0.05. Diba? Parehas lang. So, another one, uh, kung bakit hindi natin kailangan uh, gamitin si Q over RC here class, kasi both uh, end, end dead in falling uh, falling period drain class. Okay? So, kapag both sila class na nasa uh, falling period pababa, wala dito yung, isa, yung initial uh, initial moisture content, wala dito sa so, may constant period class. So, hindi pwede natin gamitin si Q over ARC class. Dapat, gamitin lang natin si uh, proportional constant class. If uh, one is in uh, constant rate period or in a falling rate period. But if both moisture content are, are was found or were in, were in your uh, falling rate period class, uh, we cannot use that. So what we have to do now, class, is to um, have a new formula. So in here, class, uh, I assume na, na 0 0.05 to 0 0.35 muna is equal to your eto class, 0 point, uh, 0 0.35 to 0 0.1, and then 0 0.1 to 0 0.05 class. So yung drying drying time ni whole na 0 0.35 to 0 0.005 is the same also pag inad ko yung drying time ni 0 0.35 to 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 to 0 0.05. And you take note class na in here given tayo dito na 7 hours. And ang hinahanap sa atin is 0 0.1 to 0 0.05. So kailangan nating uh, kunin yung drying time, yung total drying time ni 0 0.35 to 0 0.05. And uh, like what I've said last, if is if one uh, moisture content is in constant falling period, uh, constant period rate, and one is in your falling period rate, so we can use your Q over ARC. So in here class, we can get, okay, so in, uh, dito ko na nalagay class. So in theta, uh, drying time of 0 0.35 to 0 0.05 class is equal to your Q over ARC, which is 22.81 plus times your uh, X1. What is our initial uh, X1 class is 0 0.35. And then, our moisture content is 0 0.16 plus, plus uh, 0 0.16, your falling rate period, LN 0 0.16 over, instead of using 0 0.06 uh, plus, we have to use your 0 0.01 plus, okay? Sorry, this should be in 0 0.31 plus. In here, class, uh, X1 should be uh, 0 0.31, diba? Uh, we have to uh, subtract the equilibrium const uh, equilibrium moisture, right? So, 0 0.35 maging 0 0.31. And you take note, class, na ang moisture, uh, a critical moisture natin dito is 0 0.2. So, 0 0.2 minus 0 0.6, uh, 0 0.04 is 0 0.16. Divide x1 minus xc yan class. And then xc ln, xc over x2. So 0 0.16, 0 0.16. And you take note class. Now our x2 here is 0 0.05 minus your 0 0.01. Uh, 0 0.04 is 0 0.01 class. So what did you get here class? So theta now is?
Okay, 14.45 plus. Uh, are you sure? Uh, I got here 13.54. For ano pa sayo? 14. Point? Please. 13.54. Okay. Okay. So it's very good. Let's check so this is 13.54 class. So if this is 13.54 class, so I uh, substitute the natin C, 0. This is the drying, uh, total drying time of 0 0.35 dry basis to 0 0.05 dry basis. So this is 13.54. So we're going to uh, we're going to substitute your 0 0.35 to 0 0.05 here class. So 13.54 class. And this is your uh, drying time of your dry basis 0 0.1 to 0 0.05 moisture content okay so what is our drying time now of your 0 0.1 to 0 0.05 which uh which is yung hinahanap natin around 6.54 hours so that is our uh, final answer okay so you take note class, nagapag both are in falling rate period class. So you have to get the uh, steps class. Okay. Okay, let's have another one, another example. So wet solid is to is to be dried from 40 to 10 percent in five hours under constant drying conditions. The critical moisture is 20% and the equilibrium moisture content is 7%. So meaning we have to uh, subtract, subtract diba? my equilibrium. We have equilibrium moisture. So we're going to subtract 7% uh, from 40 and 10% respectively. Okay? And then all moisture contents are on dry basis. So tama should be in dry basis the time needed to dry from 15 percent to five percent free moisture under the same con dry condition is so in here class may nakalagay na free moisture na uh, stated so meaning to say we don't need to to subtract this seven percent here kapag may nakalagay na free class okay so kapag walang nakalagay na free moisture uh, free moisture is a subtract natin yung uh, 7%. But in here class, since walang na nakalagay, wag na natin isubtract. Okay? Subtract. Subtract. Okay? So, uh, we're going to have the graph class. And you take note class, so this, since this is free moisture class, in get in graphing class, kailangan nating i add si seven percent para parehas sila ng graphing class. Okay, so we have here. Yan. Sorry, hindi siya naging constant. So in here you have zero point four. X two you have a uh, X C of how much? How zero point two. And you have an X1 of 0 0.10 class. Okay? So this is our case 1 class. In your case 2 class, you take note na kailangan natin i-add si 7% nito. So in your case 1, you have 0 0.22. And you have 0 0.12 here. 0. Point, this is 0 0.2 and 0 0.12 here. So meaning to say it's under your my constant dito, my falling rate, my constant, my falling rate. Okay? So in here class, parehas lang din dun sa example number one natin yung same um what do you call this same process ng solving natin. But take note class, what uh what you really need to understand here is the free moisture class. Okay. So if if in here x1 natin class is 0 0.4 
minus 0 0.07, so magiging 0 0.33 class. And then your XC here class is 0 0.2 minus 0 0.07 class, so magiging 0 0.13. And then your X2 class here is 0 0.1 minus 0 0.07 class is 0 0.03. And in here, class, in your case 2, X1 is still 0.15% class. Yung nakalagay dito or 0.22 minus 0.07. And then your XC class is still 0 0.13, 0 0.2 minus 0 .0 XC. And then your X2 class is 0 0.05 class. Okay? So if we try to solve it, class, uh, your total drying time here is 5 hours. And then your equilibrium constant is 4%. Okay? So 5 Rs is equal to Q over ARC times your 0 0.33 minus 0 0.13 plus 0 0.13 LN 0 0.13 over 0 0.03 plus. So what did you get here? I got here... Okay, 12.8. Very good. So same value. So you have you got here 12.8. And then we're going to use your proportional constant in the case two class to get the total drying time of your 0 0.15 to 5 per as 0 0.15 to 0 0.05 free moisture class. Okay. So you have here uh theta now to 0 0.15. Uh, to 0 0.05 is equal to Q over ARC, which is 12.8 plus I times pala, anong plus times 0 0.15 uh, minus 0 0.13 plus 0 0.13 LN 0 0.13 over 0 0.05. 5 plus. So, ano ang nakuha niyo dito, class? Okay, 1.85 hours. So, very good. That is the correct answer. So, ganyan lang ang um, ganyan lang si drying natin, class. So, I'll give you one another example. Uh, parang check out lang naman to class. Okay? So, uh, we're, I'm going to send this right after our uh, lecture. So, you don't need to copy class. Uh, copy nyo na lang para mag-rest na kayo. Okay? I have here a drying. Uh, I want to recall your uh, check out. It's only a mass balance class. So, ipil ipil leaves will be dried in a moving train of tray dryers. The wet leaves containing 75% water, it's in wet, wet basis, is to, be, is to be dried to 15% wet basis in tray containing 1 meter by 1.5 meter. The wet leaves are spread out in the tray to a uniform thickness of 8 centimeter. So calculate the number of trays needed to produce 1 megaton of the dried leaves. And the amount of water removed in kilograms per megaton of product. The density of the leaves is 0 0.75 gram per cc. Uh, cc is centimeter cube, cubic centimeter, or it's just 750 kilograms per meter cube. So, I, uh, so let's try to understand, okay? So I have here your dryer. So I have here your dryer. It's uh it says here uh it's 75% water wet basis. So we don't need to to convert this class yung 75% kasi nga pag overall material balance ang ginagamit na natin class, it should be in wet basis class. Okay? Pag mga constant rate period, falling rate period class should be in dry basis class. Okay? So I'm going to put here XH2O 
is equal to 0 0.75. And then your X, uh, H2 here in your product side, na kailangan uh, marating na lang natin is 0 0.15. So meaning to say, uh, may, may mga na, na remove na moisture content. So you take note plus na ang XF na lang natin is 1 minus 0 0.75, which is 0 0.25. And then, ang XP na lang natin plus, this is your feed. This is our product plus. So, this is 0 0.85 plus. Okay? So, 1 minus 0 0.75, 1 minus 0 0.15, right? So, hopefully, na naalala pa. So, and it says here plus na kailangan natin makapag-produce ng wang 1 megaton of the dried leaves. So meaning to say we have 1,000 kilogram of dried leaves plus. Okay, so 1 megaton is also your 1,000 kilogram. And you take note plus that the density of your fluid is, sorry, fluid is 750 kilogram per meter cube. Or this is your 0 0.75 gram per centimeter cube. So, if you want to to convert it manually class, okay lang. Pero, uh, this is just 750 kilograms per meter cube class. So, ang hinanap sa atin is how many number of trees needed to produce 1 megaton of So, what we need now, now here class is kailangan muna natin ay compute yung volume ni tray class. Each tray. No? Volume ni each tray class. Since uh, given naman si 1 meter by 1.5 meter class and their thickness, so we can definitely get your volume of your uh, 1 tray class. Okay? So volume of your tray, 1 tray, is equal to uh, 1 meter by 1.5 meter by 8 centimeter. And you take note plus that this should be over 100 para maging meter din siya. So, this is around 0 0.12 meter cube. Right? And, if meron na tayo si volume of tray class, so, kailangan natin makuha si volume ng uh, feed natin or yung volume ng feed or yung leaves natin na may mga uh, water, water pa siya. Tapos, i-divide natin ng uh, volume ng each tray para makuha natin yung number of trays class. But how can we do that class? Just simply, kailangan natin ng uh, value ni F class. So, using your um, take note class na may nag dito. Okay? So, using your overall material balance or solid balance class. So, if we have your overall material balance class. So, F is equal to E, your evaporated water, plus your product. And if we have your solid balance glass, is equal to, since evaporated water lang din naman siya, so meaning X water natin dito is, uh, X, X natin dito class is zero class, okay? So pure water lang ang may evaporate. So pag solid balance glass, we have 0 0.25 F is equal to, 0 0.85 P, which is 1,000. So we can now get your F as 10 plus. F is equal to 3,400 kilograms. So since meron na tayo dito class, and given, right? Given naman yung uh, density ni feed natin class. This is the density of our feed or your leaves. So, magkukuha natin yung volume natin class, right? Volume ng feed natin. So, in here class, your uh, volume of your feed now is equal to your uh, feed times your density of your feed class. Uh, or feed over density class, right? Tama ba? Feed over density. So to get now the, uh, your answer class, 3,400 kilograms over your 
750 kilogram per meter cube glass. So, kilogram, kilogram, tataas natin si meter cube. So, that is now your volume of your feed now. So, what is your, uh, I got here 4.53. Okay. 4.53 meter cube. So, since meron na tayo si volume of your feed now class, we can now get the number of trays by dividing also your uh, volume of, of your each tray. So, 4.53 meter cube times, you, you take note na you have 0 0.12 meter cube in one tray, right? So, how many trays do we need? Okay, 37.75 trays class. But take note class, na walang 37, 3, 4 na tray. So, it should be in um, whole numbers class. So, this should be in 38 trays class. Very good. So, you're not, you're, uh, you, you need uh, 38 trays to produce 1 megaton or 1,000 kilogram of dry limbs. Okay, so uh, even if this is 37.25 class, kaila, uh, we should round up class. Kasi kailangan, no? Kailangan natin accommodate lahat. So, kasi pag in-answer niya class is only 37 trace. So, saan yung one-fourth? Saan ilalagay yung one-fourth class, right? So, kailangan i-round up, i -round up pag mga ganyang instances class. So in here, question number two, the amount of water removed uh, in kilogram per megaton of product, the density of the leaves. Okay. So in here class, ang hinahanap na lang is yung evaporated water class or yung na-remove natin na water. So since meron na tayong si F and P, so we can now uh, simply get your um, E class. So OMB is equal to F is equal to E plus product class. So, uh, feed natin is 3,400 times your evaporated water uh, plus uh, is equal to uh, evaporated water or your removed water plus your product which is 1,000. So, your answer now is 2,400 kilograms. So, that is now your final answer class. Okay? So, your Remove water is 2,400 kilograms. Okay. So I believe your exam, your major exam would be on June 8 to 10. So stick tayo sa Sabado, uh, next Sabado. So around, let me see my calendar here. Kailan ang Sabado class? Next Saturday class. Hindi ngayong Saturday. So it will, uh, it will be on June 11 class. Okay? Your final exam will be on June 11. And then, your June 4 class, uh, I cannot meet you kasi uh, may pupuntahan ako dito. So, June 4 will be your review. So please, uh, self-review in uh, in heat and mass transfer for your major exam and your exam and, and your quiz in drying. So on Monday, June 6, I will be uh, I will be giving you your quiz in drying. Okay. And then June 11 would uh, will be your major exam. So 8, 8 to 10 kasi is your major exam uh, is your scheduled final exam so i cannot meet you on june uh june 8 okay because that is scheduled on your uh major exams so i will be meeting you next will be on monday june 6 it will be your quiz in drying and then on june 11 will be your major exam so it will cover evaporator evaporation i think evaporator until drying and on june 4 on uh, this coming saturday please review na lang no uh, self-review na lang for the uh, 
for your review siguro subjects ko or you can use it uh, to review in other subjects class. So I'm giving this Saturday for you to rest, to review for the upcoming major exams. So any question uh, in this topic, the drying, before we end this? So, I will just send this PowerPoint presentation in our, I, I'm sorry, class, uh, please let me take a picture more, Nana. Kailangan ko kasi to class in my accomplishment report. Wait lang, class. So, if you don't have any questions, you may now leave our group, our Zoom meet, our Google Meet meeting. Thank you, Paul. Thank you.